Picture this. The year is 452, and the Roman Empire is teetering on the edge of collapse. The Huns have just launched a fierce assault on northern Italy, laying waste to several cities and sending their inhabitants fleeing for their lives. In a daring move, these desperate survivors seek sanctuary on a chain of small, marshy islands just off the coast. Their decision to take refuge in this lagoon, against all odds, would eventually lead to the birth of an architectural marvel, Venice. Imagine starting with nothing but a swampy mess, devoid of roads, land, and fresh water. Yet from this unpromising terrain, the Venetians crafted one of history's most extraordinary engineering feats. Their ingenious use of canals and bridges, winding through a network of islands, transformed this muddy expanse into a thriving metropolis. Venice, with its unique layout, soon became a powerhouse of commerce and influence. We've crafted a detailed model to reveal the secrets hidden beneath Venice's surface, showcasing how its inventive design and medieval engineering turned a perilous beginning into a global powerhouse. When those first refugees began their new lives on those islands, they faced the harshest of conditions. But their resourcefulness and tenacity turned adversity into triumph. Now, envision the challenge these early Venetians faced. The small, soggy islands were made of incredibly soft clay that could barely support a single person, let alone an entire city. To lay a solid foundation for their buildings, they turned to a clever solution. They harvested massive timber piles from Croatian forests and drove them deep into the ground, around 5 meters, until they reached a tougher layer of clay beneath. This technique not only anchored the piles securely but also compressed the surrounding clay, forcing out excess water and strengthening the ground. With the piles firmly in place, the Venetians trimmed the tops and laid wooden planks across them to distribute the weight. They then topped this with blocks of Istrian stone to elevate the foundations above the water. This ingenious design was a masterstroke. By sealing the wooden piles away from the air, they prevented decay. Remarkably, most of those original piles are still intact today, continuing to support the city that rose from the swamp. With the foundations securely in place, the Venetians turned their attention to constructing the city's buildings. Initially, they used wood for their homes, but repeated fires led them to switch to brick for greater safety. To keep the structures stable yet manageable, they limited them to no more than three stories. Instead of cement, they opted for lime mortar. This choice was strategic. Lime mortar's flexibility allowed the buildings to adapt as the ground beneath shifted ever so slightly. The inner walls were constructed in a crisscross pattern, much like a trellis, which added to the building's ability to flex. The facades, adorned with grand windows and intricate stonework, were much heavier. To ensure these elegant fronts wouldn't topple over, the Venetians anchored them with iron rods, securely pinning them to the ground. This innovative approach proved successful. Over time, several islands around the lagoon were developed in this manner. Rather than spreading outwards like typical cities, Venice expanded by connecting its islands, creating a seamless, interwoven urban landscape. In the early days of Venice, getting from one island to another was a matter of hopping into a boat, but as the islands gradually drew closer together, crossing between them became as simple as wading through the shallow waters on horseback. The next logical step for Venice was to create a network of connections between these islands. Interestingly, for the first 500 years of Venice's existence, there were no bridges at all. But as the city's population swelled and commerce boomed, a more efficient way to reach Rialto, the bustling heart of Venice's trade, became essential. In response, the Doge of Venice announced a competition to design the ultimate bridge. He publicized the challenge with posters around the city. To transform this cluster of islands into a thriving city, bridges were essential. The first solution was a simple pontoon bridge, connecting the largest islands and crucially providing quick access to Rialto, the city's commercial hub. This initial bridge was later replaced with a wooden one, but it eventually succumbed to fire and collapse. The final upgrade was a robust stone bridge, built with over 12,000 timber piles driven into the canal banks and topped with 10,000 tons of stone. Today, this enduring stone bridge remains a vital artery in Venice. 
Its success spurred the construction of more stone bridges, reshaping Venice into a compact, canal-filled city with no roads in sight. Venice enjoyed a remarkable advantage thanks to its intricate canal system. While other cities grappled with the chaos of pedestrians and horse-drawn carts jostling for space, Venice's canals ensured a smooth flow of goods and traffic, free from such congestion. The separation of walkways and waterways meant that people could glide effortlessly between the two without missing a beat. As Venice flourished, becoming the wealthiest and most influential city in Europe, its role as a commercial hub was unmatched. Everything that was bought and sold passed through its bustling channels, filling Venetian coffers to the brim. However, this prosperity came with its own set of challenges. The soaring population, now 170,000 strong, put an immense strain on the city's ability to provide fresh water. Despite being surrounded by water, Venice's salty lagoon was undrinkable. Without natural springs or rivers, the city depended on boats to ferry fresh water from the mainland, but the growing demand soon overwhelmed this system. To address this, Venetian engineers turned to the city's squares, which had originally been open fields for grazing. They repurposed these spaces to collect rainwater by excavating large areas beneath each square and lining the walls with a thick layer of clay to create a watertight reservoir. This ingenious solution helped Venice manage its water needs and maintain its thriving status. To create a system for collecting fresh water, the Venetians ingeniously transformed their squares into rainwater catchment areas. They filled the excavated spaces with layers of sand and stones, then resurfaced with tiles designed to channel rainwater to the corners of each square. The water would then flow into the basin, filter through the sand and stones, and eventually reach the central well. To make the most of every drop, gutters were added to the roofs of nearby buildings, directing rainwater onto the squares and into the drainage system. This setup turned Venice into a vast funnel, feeding more than 600 wells scattered throughout the city. Once again, Venetian engineering came to the rescue. However, a new problem arose, waste management. Until this time, residents had been tossing their refuse out of windows, with some of it landing in the canals and the rest accumulating in the streets. To address this, in the 16th century, the Venetians embarked on an ambitious project to build an extensive network of underground tunnels. These tunnels collected waste from every building and channeled it directly into the canals, effectively keeping the streets clean and improving sanitation across the city. When the tide in the lagoon was low, solid waste would settle at the bottom while the liquids flowed naturally into the canals. As the tide rose again, it would flood the underground tunnels and sweep the waste out to sea. This twice-daily tide cycle effectively exchanged dirty water for fresh seawater, flushing the city clean. The salty sea water acted as a powerful disinfectant, keeping the streets of Venice remarkably clean. Incredibly, much of Venice's historic engineering marvels still stand today. The ancient bridges, winding canals, and enduring buildings are all part of a remarkable structure that has supported the city for over a thousand years. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells icon so you don't miss any of our uploads.